Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 1st. We're just going to jump right in here, Leo. And uh, you start off with this juggling card. It says, prepare to be busy juggling many roles. And you have the King of Swords, which is probably like the perfect card for this. The King of Swords, he uses his like discernment and his knowledge and his wisdom to, you know, guide people. He's also like the true mentor of the tarot. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, you could be kind of just like either mentoring people in your own life or you could be bossing up here taking the lead on projects or you know this could just be multiple things in your life you might just have a lot going on and I really feel you're just like in a good energy flow to kind of make things happen and to be successful so you know I really like this energy for you you also have this mature man card and you do have lovers so if you're looking for love definitely could be attracting like a mature person or um Sorry, I dropped a card here, Leo, and it is the Ace of Cups, so there you go. Um, I did just drop it, so I'm going to put it to the side. It wasn't like a card that I was pulling, but, um, you know, we are going to see here, and yeah, it could be like a mature person that you could be marrying, but you have the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, I'm oh, sorry, the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Too many wands cards over here. And uh, I feel that for a lot of you, there could be like a new idea as well or something new that you're either thinking about or that you're thinking of creating in your life with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands can represent like a creative project. Um, you know, it can represent out with the old, in with the new. I really do see all you fire signs kind of uh, creating upgrades, creating new opportunities in your life. I think that it's a major fire sign theme for like a little bit of time here. And so, you know, anything you're doing <laughs> new, I think would be a great idea. Uh, and you have the Page of Swords. Uh, Page of Swords, of course, is a card of being like a detective. To me, Page of Swords is a card of really looking into things. You know, that's a, the only thing it means, but um, that's kind of what I get for you intuitively is that you need to like really look into the things that you're starting or that you're getting involved in. Um, not saying that you this so that you don't do stuff, right? I'm saying this so that you focus, so that you, you know, if you're starting a new project or new business or something, that you really kind of like hammer out the details is more what I'm getting. I also do feel that there could be a person who's interested in you for those of you that want love. Uh, I kind I like two sixes here. You know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that to, I love two sixes. To me, two sixes says that you're going the right direction. You're on the right path, that you're doing the right thing, right? Um, so it's kind of like confirmation for your path. But what I would say is I don't really like that, um, that six of pentacles or... What I would say is, you know, maybe you have gained some wisdom due to a situation where a person breadcrumbed you in the past that led to heartbreak. And I kind of feel like this is saying, make sure that you don't get into situations now where you're over giving, where, you know, you, I, I say it all the time to you, Leo, that I think you Leos are very, are too giving. Just like, I, I see you just like Pisces, like I'm a Pisces, right? And I see you too, like very similar, similarly, as far as giving is concerned. And I feel like this is saying like, kind of like, don't, you know, overgive, because that's probably what hurt you in the past. With the King of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is like having a nightmare, waking up, being stuck in a nightmare. So it represents a never ending nightmare. And again, that's what we create when we overgive in love situations. We really, we just create a monster. And it's like, again, not I'm not blaming an ex here, or I, I'm not saying you should blame an ex here or anything like that. But I'm just saying, it's like kind of like natural what happens when we overgive. People start taking advantage of it. It doesn't mean they're necessarily a bad person either. It's like, if you're offering it up, they're gonna take it. <laughs> and I kind of feel this is saying, make sure, I wouldn't hold back either. I always tell people, don't overcorrect, right? But what I would say is if you're meeting a new person, you hit the ball to them, they hit the ball to you. It's like, it should be like tennis, you know, nice equal give and take here. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Two of Wands. I do feel like you need to get moving. I have those words literally popping into my head. So if you have an idea, I would take the charge, take the lead and kind of like make it happen. Some of you might be saying as well, you know, I feel like you need to realize that this is like an old idea that you're up updating. You know, it's like you could be saying, oh, it's Mercury retrograde. I shouldn't start this. I'm like, no, uh, excuse me. If you're starting something that you've already worked on in the past that, you, that you're revisiting, that you're redoing, perfectly acceptable, number one. Number two, I don't think astrology should c control our life. I love astrology. You know, obviously, this is what I do for a living, <laughs> for the most part. And, um, you know, I love astrology, but again, I don't let it control my life. I still, you know, start things during Mercury retrograde. Some things work, some things don't. That's just life, right? With the Page of Swords, you have the Six of Swords, all these sixes right here. I'm wondering, 
know, for some of you, I feel like someone uh, from the past could have their eye on you. Uh, as I always say, who cares? Um, I don't even know. You know, it's not even worth mentioning, right? I don't care about the past, <laughs> period. I think you should focus on the new in this situation anyway, especially if someone was breadcrumbing you. Uh, so someone from the past, but I don't know. I feel I see you moving on. Six of Swords, like moving on. Six of Pentacles, you're giving to other situations or you're looking to invest in a new situation uh, with that Six of Swords. Um, I also feel some of you could just be healing from a heartbreak going this way. Uh, next, you have this mature man card. Obviously, it says wise, older, influential male, a father figure, a supportive figure, a boss, a mentor, teacher. Uh, so again, for some of you, King of Swords is my card of the mentor. I feel that a mentor, you know, if you're in like work or business, doesn't have to be a man, could be any gender. I feel like if you're getting a mentor, there could be a lot of success for you in get in uh, in doing that. You know, again, I see this comes up a lot. It, I, it comes up, it usually comes up for Aries, but it has it didn't this time. It's coming up for you, and I feel like you get this a lot. That having a mentor, you know, having someone that you look up to could be a good idea. Again, I always tell people your mentor could be dead, right? There, I have plenty of you know people I consider mentors that are dead that I watch their videos on YouTube, for example, right? Uh, you have the Sagittarius season. It says, moving through quick energy, free spirit, versatile, enthusiastic, draw on previous knowledge. Yep, um, I just said redoing with that ace of wands. I kind of get that feeling that some of you might be like, should I start this because it's Mercury retrograde? I'm like, and, and when I said that to myself in my head with that two wands, I was like, no, I've already done this before. Like if I put myself in your shoes here, Leo. So I feel like some of you, it's like you could be revisiting some ideas that you have already had before the retrograde or some things that you've already started before the retrograde. And it's not like you're really starting something new. Maybe you're revisiting it or, you know, breathing new life into an old idea that you had years ago or something like that. You know, definitely popping into my head. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Um, I, I do feel like you're very focused on your resources. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, as a crazy conspiracy theorist, I'm a big fan of focusing on your uh, resources at this time. I wouldn't be paranoid about your resources, right? Um, but, you know, of course, we are going to see more banks collapse. I said this a few weeks ago. Another big bank is about to collapse. And it, it has collapsed. That's what people don't realize is that it's like they keep putting on the news like, oh, this bank is about to collapse. No, it has collapsed. <laughs> they can't pay their bills, basic, more or less, right? If I were to dumb it down and, you know, and teach it to a five-year-old, I'm like, this bank can't pay their bills. They have collapsed, right? So who cares? Whether the government comes in and saves them, you know, is another story. But again, I wouldn't be sitting on your hands, like just watching this happen, being like, oh my God, all these banks are collapsing. Yes. Yes, they are. And there's going to be a lot more. So what are you going to do about it, right? So I would focus on your resources, being resourceful. And again, I keep encouraging people like, again, don't be paranoid. Don't be worried about this because it's not going to help. I think the best thing we can do is make sure that we have skills. These could be any type of skill. Um, you know, it could be skills that make you valuable to other people, um, whatever. Uh, we can, you know, uh, put, open up another bank account, right? That's a good one. And so that you're not just don't have all your money in like one bank. Um, there are a million things you can do. You can buy silver, you can buy cows, you can buy, I don't care what you buy, right? But something, right? I'd have something and I wouldn't be paranoid about it. I would just think about it. Uh, you have the uh, Six of Pentacles here. Six of Pentacles, planting seeds, literally. So I feel for a lot of you that you're kind of like planting seeds in your life in a new direction. And I, f I just feel like that's going to make you very valuable here. Um, you know, I, I kind of get this like backup plan energy. I don't even think we're going to need a backup plan. So don't even put that energy out there. But what I would say is I don't think it hurts to have something on the side, right? Like if you have a job right now, things could be going well, but maybe you want to start a YouTube channel. I keep telling people like it's kind of like a backup backup plan is what I would call it, <laughs> where it's like maybe you start a YouTube channel talking about whatever you're interested in. Maybe it doesn't take off right now, but if you build it up over a few years and something happens to your job or all the banks collapse, it's like then you have something to lean on. And so I kind of see a lot of people doing that. I really don't even know what I'm talking about because I don't know, I can't make sense of the message. But what I would say is hopefully that makes sense to you. You know, I think everybody having like a backup backup plan, not really a backup plan. It's not that serious. We And again, I, I think we shouldn't take it too seriously because then we create it. But I would just have something, right? You have the uh, four cups here. Four of Cups is a card of contemplation and apathy. Yeah, no settling. What Didn't one of these cards said like no settling, right? Am I making that up? <laughs> I thought one of these cards said don't settle or basically whatever. It doesn't matter. I, I feel like this right here is saying don't settle for something that you want in your life. Like it's, it, it could be love, of course, but I just think it's something that you commit to with the four of wands. So obviously if that's love, I feel this is saying like don't settle on something that isn't right, right? Uh, I also feel like if you want to uh, throw cards professionally on a YouTube channel, you could absolutely do that. Look, I just did it. Um, 
But I also think that if you want to commit to a job or something or a career, this is saying, you know, you've had some disappointments and it's time to focus on exactly what you want. So, you know, I would that's what I would be doing here. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Five of Swords. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely like some sort of separation that you're thinking about or that could be popping up in your head. Again, I think sometimes, you know, Mercury Retrograde is notorious from for bringing people back from the past, but it doesn't actually have to bring a person back from the past. It could just be triggering the memories of a situation that you had in the past. And I feel like this is saying, maybe you haven't healed it or you are healing it because you have the Three of Swords, you know, something to think about, Six of Pentacles, judgment. Yeah, I would be careful of taking anyone back from the past. Judgment is could be a person returning, but again, Six of Pentacles, they're still breadcrumbing. So I would be careful. Uh, for the rest of you, I do feel like you could just be waking up to the correct path because we go, two sixes, which I love, and then the strength card, which is your card. So you're coming up in a very strong position here. With the four of cups, you have the eight of swords, mm, setting yourself free. Uh, you know, I feel like some of you need to set yourself free from, you know, certain restrictions here that you have maybe placed on yourself. Or, um, you know, I kind of feel like it's time for us to look for what we want, <laughs> what we are wanting to see. It's like, you know, I've talked to so many people that are like, I live in the middle of the Australian desert and but and I can't find love. I'm like, well, move, right? <laughs> it's it's like there are some there are things that we need to do to create to enter into the circumstances that we want is kind of what I'm getting here. So if things are not, you know, if your environment is not correct, then I think it's time to move. I'm not saying you have to literally move. I'm just saying that, you know, if your job sucks, go get another one. If your relationship sucks, get out of this one, heal, then go get another one. Uh, you know, if something else in your life sucks, it's time for a change or it's time to change the environment. And that's what the Eight of Swords is kind of saying to me here. Uh, next, you have this card that I'm not going to be able to read. It says, um, it says, oh, amplify. <laughs> Uh, this is from the Threads of Fate, Empyrean Oracle. This deck is awesome. And again, the only reason I can't read it is because these lights. Again, this deck looks even more awesome in natural lighting, like with actual sun. But uh, Threads of Fate is launching three new decks. They're kind of animated like this one. And there's a link down below to those three new decks. It's a Kickstarter. Uh, full disclosure, I do have a business relationship with Threads of Fate. But, you know, again, I feel like you need to amplify the things that you desire to have in your life or that you are interested in. Uh, there's something here about like, your environment as well as I just said. Uh, you have the lovers, the six of cups and the three of swords. Three of swords can say that you have to heal. Um, three of swords can be a heartbreak, of course, but those three swords are in your heart. So they kind of represent needing to heal your heart so that you can you know, have a better life basically. So um, the other thing is, is that the three of swords is temporary. It does not represent something that will last forever. It just represents a temporary situation. You have the six of cups here. You know, again, I get, I just get like a wandering type of energy. I would be careful of a person who wandered. It's like they maybe they thought the grass was greener for cups. They went to someone else, and now they want to come back to you. It's like I would never accept that into my life. <laughs> it's like I'm number one, baby. You know, and I, I think anyone who watches Middle Pond needs to have the same mindset. It's like there's no one better than me. So uh, there's no one who works harder. There's no one who has more to offer. So it's like, I'm not settling for some bozo who is like, oh, I you know ran into my ex from when I was like 12 years old and I went back to them because I still have attachments to them. I'm like, okay, great. Go get them to solve all your problems, right? Uh, so what I would say here is I kind of have that situation popping into my head and I feel like this is saying, no, don't do it. <laughs> the other thing is, is I feel like there's some sort of turnaround coming in for you. Uh, I feel like this turnaround is because of like a new commitment uh, to, you know, changing your environment. Again, it's interesting that you don't have the Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles is my card of your environment, your surroundings, the things that are around you. There's a snail on normally on the Nine of Pentacles and, it, you know, snails wear their homes on their back. So I kind of have that feeling here. Uh, you do have the uh, lovers. So there could be love coming in for you, obviously. You know, the whole entire reading is talking about that. If you don't want love, I feel, and even if you do, I feel like this is like a new, you being at a crossroads, having some choices to make. Uh, with the lovers, you have the page of cups. I knew it was love, though. I mean, <laughs> you know, definitely love. A love offer or, you know, a person you're interested in. Take it how it resonates. Uh, could lead to marriage, obviously, because um, you have the four of wands there. With the six of cups, you have the six of cups. Uh, again, I would focus on yourself. I would focus on making sure that you understand that you're number one, just like I said, and if you're here in the middle pond, and that's all I'd focus on. Six of Cups could be a soulmate, though, so if it's a new person, definitely could be a soulmate. With the um, Three of Swords, again, 
You know, the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card are the only two cards in the deck I consider to be an X coming back. I know that every reader and their mother reads the Six of Cups as an X coming back, but that's not what it means. If you read old tarot books, if you read uh, the Golden Tarot, for example, um, you know, in that book, they say, do not go back to the past. Literally, that book says that, you know, do not get stuck in nostalgia with the Six of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card are the two that I consider to be truly an X coming back. And what I would say here is that the Wheel of Fortune says, do you really want to repeat a cycle? You know, it, three of swords. Do you want to do things over again? Do you want to make the same mistake twice? I can't answer that question for you. And, and you know, I've done it. I've made the same mistake twice. So, you know, you're not going to get any judgments from me. <laughs> but I'm just saying, do you need to do it? Probably not, is what I would say. When, in, you know, if you just give something, you know, six months, I feel like you're going to be looking at this person being like, why was I with them in the first place? It's like, if life has taught me one thing, it's like, you know, after a breakup, I feel absolutely horrible. I'm a Pisces, you know, I'm w like way too, I get way too attached to people and everything like that. But, and it usually takes me a long time to get over people. But it's like, once I do, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking in the first place? Right. So, you know, that's what I would say here is I'd be like, you know, probably, yeah, it sucks right now, but in the future, you're going to be like, why was I even with that person? Right. <laughs> and so definitely something to think about. Uh, next, you have this card that says ask body. So I feel like you need to ask your body for things. This is the other thing as well. You know, I remember four years ago, I was talking to a person uh, just in business. It wasn't even love. Right. And I remember I, that's when I was going live on this channel. I developed this like weird thing where I started like feeling like gagging all the time, like when I was talking. And obviously I talk for a freaking living. So it's like I needed to be able to talk, but I kept getting this like weird like feeling in my throat. I couldn't even describe it. Like I felt like throwing up almost every single time I talked. And um, I started to be like, what, like, what is going on here? And But I always had this weird feeling about this person that I was doing business with, right? And, um, you know, come to find out they were not so honest, not a great person. And, uh, you know, once I stopped talking to that person, my throat thing went away. It was like literally, my body was rejecting this person. And I, you know, I kind of realized that before I was going live, I was talking with this person, dealing with them and all this other stuff. You know, it's like, what do you, what do you know? <laughs> so I feel like you could be having, I feel that for you here, Leo, where you could be having some symptoms or you could be, um, you know, having some weird experiences, but maybe it's because of something that you're dealing with or putting up with, or, you know, maybe it's your body is like rejecting something like a person like that happened to me, right? Uh, and it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be love. That was business. And for you, it could be business. It could be love. It could be, um, it, but it could also be something that you're doing, right? It's like, I, I go for a walk every single day. I have like tons of people who run by me every single day. I would say 90% of them look like they're about to die. I'm like, why would you run? I promise you, if you ever see me running, you better start running the same direction I am because there's something coming, right? Because I am not gonna run. <laughs> but it's like, you know, it's like, do you have to run to be healthy? No, there are like a million things you could do. You ride a bike, you could uh, lift weights, you could do so much, right? And I feel like this is saying like, is your body rejecting something or does it want you to do it, right? Listen, you have the four wands, the uh, strength card and the page of wands. Definitely, I feel like you've been waiting for something new here. I do feel like there's like a new adventure coming in for you. I'm telling you right now, if you're attracting a new person, again, I feel like you never get bored of this person as well. I feel like they're like super interesting. Could be another fire sign. I mean, you have basically everything here. It uh, could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, or Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo could be, you know, kind of like heavily in their charts. But again, take it how it resonates, could be any sign. And uh, I feel like that, like it's an adventure. It's like something you grow through. It's something that never gets boring. So, you know, probably a very interesting person here. Uh, you have the strength card, you showing up in a strong position. I love when people show up as themselves, puts you in a position of power and strength. You also have the four wands, which of course is a card of marriage. So some of you, this could be getting married. Um, for whatever reason, I have the word luck popping into my head. You know, this is kind of like 11, 11 right here. I don't know, I consider 11, 11 to be pretty lucky. So you might be seeing like 11, 11 or repeating numbers all the time. Definitely something to uh, you know pay attention to is what I would say with that uh, card. And with the four of wands, you have the high priestess. Definitely time to trust your intuition here. Um, I kind of feel like there could be a little bit of a mystery that, you know, going on in your life as well. I do feel that page of swords over here, that a mystery could be setting you free or a mystery could be kind of, um, 
something that's very beneficial. Like a, like a long time ago, it's like I, I had I couldn't like afford to pay for my car, remember? And I start I was interested in starting this business and I started it. It made me a bunch of money and it was during Mercury Retrograde. That's why I'm telling you this story. It made me enough money to pay for my car, like almost the exact amount. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so again, so it, but it was a mystery to me. It's like the reason I did it is because it was a mystery. I was like interested in the business, right? And that's popping into my head. Like it's a Mercury Retrograde, but don't be afraid to do something. It might not last after the retrograde but again i've told this story before in the past because it like saved my ass at the time right so you never know it's like I, I that's why i don't really like when people say don't do things during retrogrades i'm like well if you if you wanted to be really serious about astrology you would never do anything you would live in a bubble and you would be bubble boy and protect yourself right so again we shouldn't let it control our lives with the strength card you have the queen of swords here you see clearly now i you know there's no doubt about it. I feel like you've been through some tough lessons regarding other people. This does not have to be love. Again, I feel like this has to do with how much you nurture people, how much you care about people, you know, the energy that you give to people, how you try to lift people up and, you know, all that other stuff. And, you know, I feel like you see clearly now, like what you can do, what you can't do. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the World card. Definitely some accomplishments coming in for you. I see you're coming up with really good ideas here. That's what I'm getting intuitively, even though that's not what the world means. I see you like accomplishing more, especially in your business. Um, you know, very lucky time. Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, World. I really like this setup for you, Leo. So, you know, if you're launching new ideas for your business, um, looking at new directions, pretty much any of that, I see a lot of success for you in those situations. So, you know, definitely like this reading. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now. You have this fly. It says a period of ill health, depression. I don't really, I, I just think this is saying watch your health. I mean, Mercury retrograde, again, I would pay attention to your health and, you know, don't go crazy. Don't, you know, project this out there and create some sort of problem, right? I would stay as healthy as you possibly can. That's all that's saying. You have this apple. It says temptation will test you this past bozo. You know, be careful. I don't even need to show you. Uh, you have this mountain card. It says major challenge to overcome. Uh, again, I don't really feel this is a challenge. I think this is a new direction, you know, especially in work or business. Um, you know, I feel you have that amplify card. Like maybe you need to put yourself out there more. I feel like I've been saying something very similar to you recently, especially for those of you in work or business, or you might be like trying to become an influencer, or maybe you're trying to uh, show off your talents, gifts, skills, and abilities on YouTube or something. I feel like this is saying like brag a little bit more. Like don't be afraid to like open up and, you know, tell people more about yourself or, <laughs> you know, something. I don't know. That's what's popping into my head. Uh, you have this arrow. It says you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Yeah, very interesting. So you're going the right direction. I almost feel like you're trying too hard as well. And I don't mean you're trying too hard. I just think that there are some, I, I think there are like some simple little things that you could like focus on here uh, that would like grow your business or would grow um, your social media following or something. Like, I feel like this is connected to money. So, you know, that's why I'm using that as an example. And people always say to me, by the way, I have a lot of people that are always like, I have a job, I have a career. I don't need social media. I'm like, yes, you do. Right, I would, number one, I would be very careful what you say on social media if you have a job or a career. But again, I promise you in the future, people who like have social media where they talk about their career are gonna end up in some really good positions because like jobs aren't coming back, right? I think it's gonna get harder and harder and harder. But if you have a social media following for the job that you have where you're constantly sharing information or your thoughts on you know the, where things are going in the industry and everything like that, that is going to make you extremely valuable. So I think it's crazy nowadays that like people who are like nurses or hairdressers or like whatever it is you do, it doesn't matter. Um, it, I think it's crazy that those people don't have social media because it's like you should. <laughs> but again, number one, don't post like drunken, your your drunken night out and things like that. Bad idea. But uh, posting your thoughts, your ideas and just sharing information, great idea. Makes you extremely valuable. I feel like some of you could be doing that here. Uh, you have this money path card. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Yes, it is this new direction. It is some doing something new, amplifying yourself, sh uh, sharing the word, getting things out there. Uh, same thing with love as well. It's like, you know, I think there are plenty of things we can do in love to make ourselves more valuable. Someone always gets offended when I say this, but I'm like, l l you know, let's call a spade a, sp a spade. Like the love, the whole love situation, it is what it is, right? It's like, you obviously have to be valuable to another person. So for, for it to work, right? And so again, I think there's nothing wrong with improving yourself. Um, you know, and, and when you improve yourself, then you attract a higher value person, right? <laughs> so I think that value attracts value, plain and simple. And whether that's politically correct or not, I don't care. Again, I don't have a trash can here, but I would say here's the complaints department, this trash can, right? So there, that's where you can throw your complaints. But uh, this looks amazing, Leo. I love it. Really good stuff. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.